Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do my Valentine's Day makeup look and it's very different from my regular everyday smoky eye makeup but it's nice to play around with makeup and have a little bit of a fun makeup like yeah anyway for this makeup look I got my inspiration a little bit from like vintage makeup and just soft girl makeup and yeah I don't know if you like to see more makeup videos I also do lifestyle and fashion vlogs um, DIYs don't forget to subscribe and yeah let's just start the video I don't know why I said start I just said it with like my Portuguese accent that I'm trying to lose when I speak English I don't know why I did that anyway let's go just okay so my eyebrows are done because I'm trying something different today um, and we are going to do eyes before face makeup because I just feel like being different today <laughs> I'm just going to use a little bit of my concealer this is Catrice liquid camouflage on my lid For today's video I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 2. This is the most Valentine's Day makeup, not makeup, eyeshadow palette I've ever seen. It's just pinks. I'm going to use this all over my eyelid. Just like this. Now I'm going to use this shade and I'm going to just apply a little bit on my outer part and a little bit on my crease but not too much because we are doing something different today next I'm going to use this Essence long lasting eye pencil in black fever it's just a black eyeliner not eyeliner pencil but it's long lasting eye pencil and I'm just going to draw a line on my crease this is falling apart I just created this line to guide me and now I'm going to fill my eyelid like here with this white shade next I'm going to use this angle brush and I'm going to use my Flormar black shadow like this And now with a small pencil brush, I'm going to use the same pink I used previously and I'm just going to blend it above this line. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but it will look better in the end with the lashes and eyeliner. And makeup is supposed to be fun, so why not play with it? I'm just blending a little bit of everything right now. Okay, and I'm going to use a little bit of the same shade here because I just feel like I need more depth, depth, not depth, depth, depth. How do you say it? like depth? Now I'm going to do a liner, I'm going to use my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner and I'm just going to do a very vintage G looking liner Right now I'm going to do the other eye and I'll see you in a minute because once again it's going to take me a long time Okay, I'm back um, I had to do the eyeliner a little bit thicker because this eye just turned out to be way thicker than this one so I had to add more here, then I had to add more there and yeah, you know 
how it is sometimes i'm going to do my face before i finish my eye makeup i'm just going to skip this real quick because it's the same steps i did in my previous video it's the way i always do my base so yeah Okay, so my foundation is on, I powdered my face and I did my contour and now I'm going to do something that it's out of the ordinary and I'm going to use my Kiko Smart Color Blush in the shade Pinky Wood, I have no idea honestly It's just this matte coral pink shade and I'm going to apply it on the places I contour I didn't went crazy on the bronzer today because I felt like I just did bronzer because I like to give my face more dimension um, and I don't think blush would do that for my shape face shape face for my face shape just going to do a little bit on my eyes like I normally do with bronzer and now as an actual blush I'm going to use my Kiko I'm using a lot of Kiko makeup I always do, I love Kiko um, Sicilian Notes Baked Blush in the shade Coral Sunset which, which is this gorgeous like shimmer, not shimmery but just glowy blush and it smells amazing too to highlight my face i'm going to use my soft x revolution highlighter palette and i'm going to use the pink shade we want everything pink for this look Now to finish my eye makeup, I'm going to start by using this shame shame. Oh, I seriously can't speak today. Um, anyway, I'm going to use the same pink shade on my lower lash line. In my inner corner, I'm going to use the same highlighter that I use. Time to curl and apply my mascara Once again, my Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume I'm just going to do my lashes and I'm just going to use the same I only have one pair of eyelashes, honestly and I cut them in half, so I technically have two pairs of eyelashes um, But yeah, I'm just going to do this once again off camera because I still can't do it on camera Not that I can't do it on camera, but it takes me like two days to do so So yeah Okay, next, this is optional, like every single step of this video But I just hate seeing my waterline on my top lashes I think it just looks awful especially with eyeliner because everything is super black and there's the line you know it doesn't look cute so I'm just going to use my black eye pencil and I'm going to tight line my top waterline and I almost dropped my mirror I'm 
I'm going to do a uh, two lipstick combo. I changed my mind and I'm going to use this Essence Matte 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 Lipstick in the shade 4, which is this matte super bright bubblegum pink. Okay, and this is the final makeup. I think it's a very Valentine's Day makeup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like it, subscribe for more videos and see you on my next one.